Okay guys, welcome back. Um, this is just an update on Project Deer. Um, so if you've seen, or you've probably seen that I've um, acquired a 3D printer. Um, so I've gone ahead and done a lot of this off camera because it was a lot of working out and all that sort of stuff. But basically, um, I've tweaked it around a bit um, using the 3D printer. My SCLs will be available online um, on Thingiverse. Um, this is essentially just continuing on from what we were doing anyway. Um, so you know, you still see, use the same theory with the, the wheels and things like that. But I've um, remixed somebody else's wheels um, to work with the adapters that I've got. Um, they've worked out quite well. Um, so I made some motor mounts and a servo mount. So what I'll do is I'll open it all up and let you guys uh, see what I've done and just discuss how I how I did that um, and put it all together and things like that but um, much happier with it I've been taking it for a bit of a cruise around and driving and, and with these new wheels the tracks uh, lock onto the wheels heaves better um, there's less wobble in them um, the, the servo mount has, has allowed the servos to be tighter and stuff as well so it's just a much better machine now uh, pulls the trailer like it's nothing uh, gets up and down hills with the trailer on. I haven't loaded it yet, but it's it's getting there. Plus, I just went through and rewired it all because when I when I finished this off, it was um, we were in New Zealand, uh, right in the middle of what what was classed as what our level four lockdown. So our government locked down our entire country. No one was allowed to go to work and things like that. Um, and it was bloody hard to get anything. Nothing was open uh, except for supermarkets. So um, this is. Bit happier with the, the finished version of this, um, and I hope you know through my experience you guys can can build this yourselves. But what I'll do is I'll open it up and we can have a look at it. Eh? Okay, right. So um, these wheels, uh, I can't remember who the who the man was that um, originally designed them, but um, they are on Thingiverse. Um, if you search ninety six twenty RX. Um, they'll they'll come up and he's got a whole setup for this for Tamiya Dust, which was where originally where I got my idea from. Um, so basically, what I did is is took his design for this, uh, changed it around a little bit um, to fit my adapters, um, beefed it up a little bit, and um, you know I, I sort of designed it so that these nuts would come out the back of it, so they looked like wheels. Um, and that looks nice and tidy and they are really on there um, so that's great um, so that's that's those so they're, they'll be on Thingiverse and then my motor mounts um, <coughs> so, yeah, so that's it here so um, same similar principle um, that I had originally um, so you will need to cut a little bit more out of um, this, this section but not, not the wheel carrier section um, I kept that at 25mm for the motors so they still slide on and then the motors come in and then essentially all I've done is, is put some holes on it and clamp the motors in place um, you probably can't see it that well but there is a hole I don't know if I can get that uh, in there somewhere can you see that yeah there you go That's it. there's a hole in it for the wire motors to come out um, can be a little bit fiddly to get in and out of there um, you do when you put these in um, do you need to push the motors over get the wheel on pull the motor back that can be a little bit tricky um, and the same for both sides so you need to shift it across and shift on then the wheels will go on um, these have as well sorry going back to the wheels there's um, I don't know if you can see that, but in there is a little hole um, that allows you to get through to the grub screws to hook onto the motors. Um, same principle with the steering that I started off with. I just made a, a printed bracket. Um, so the wheels I printed at 80%, the motor mounts I printed at 100% because they're quite uh, infill, sorry, because they're quite tight. Um, the servo mount I think I printed at 80% as well, just so it gives it some bite for the screws, but it's the same principle with the two pieces of aluminium that I had originally. Um, 
but it's one big it's one piece now um and that just allows it to to grip in and, and get much better in there um so that's that and um principle is exactly the same on the front it's exactly the same piece so the two motor mounts are the same you do need to cut a little bit more out of the body itself but not out of the, the wheels so you do drill your 25 mil hole saw for the motor um, and then these print up and and just sit in there um, they've got a flat plate on the bottom a couple of screws from underneath and then some screws into the motor mount itself to allow it to get in in there but that's basically what I've done with the tractor um, I think it looks pretty smart now um, I also went through and just tied up a whole lot of the wiring it was pretty messy just with um, working with what I had when I first got it running um, but I've had some time to move on now so that's great um, so that's that um, and then um, just quickly on the so side. moving on to the trailer um, what I've done is uh, not too much on this yet um, but basically I created an adapter um, for the Huna excavator um, screwdrivers um, for the booms and stuff on that which has got a bigger thread than the Lesu one that I originally got um, and I created an adapter so that fits onto a servo horn and it just plugs straight onto the servo um, I was hoping it was going to make it go up a bit faster but well, it is, does go up faster but not as fast as I was hoping but it, it's it's I'm happy with it so um, that's an update on project there um, I rewired a lot of it um, but she she really pulls now um, quite well and, and steers heaps better even everything sort of just seems to be much more um, precise so I'm really wrapped with the way that it's all come out um, so that is an update on project deer um, you know oh, probably would have added I'm not sure if I but I added this on the front of it I might print something up actually now that I've got the printer um, I'm going to I still need to put these back work lights on um, but that, that I'll get there with that I've decided not to go with the lights from the trailer um, it just started to get a little bit problematic with the wiring and, and forward voltages and stuff like that with the setup that I've got um, but it's looking heaps better um, she really pulls but I'm you know I'm gonna go I'll probably print like a black surround for around these lights here um, and just do a few little things um, you know probably print some horns or you know something to go on the top of it bit of a roll cage or something like that um, but apart from that I'm pretty wrapped with how this has come out now um, it's been a while since I've done a video on it but that is Project Deer that's where Project Deer is at um, you know if you do decide to go down this path and do it the way that I've done it um, happy if you message me just I'll try to help you out my SDLs will be available um, if you want me to print them I will print them but I make no um, guarantees of any of my parts or anything like this this is just hobby I, I haven't tested any of this to see how long it lasts or anything like that um, but I can print off things for you um, if you want me to um, but you know I obviously need time and labor for that but it is what it is and this is you know one of my favorite projects um, thus far that I've built RC wise and now that I've been able to tidy it all up with the 3D printer I am absolutely wrapped with the way that it's come out um, so thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe uh, I've got a new project coming up um, aptly named Project Prime you'll start to see some of that coming through I've already done a video on the control unit um, the Bayer SFR1 um, amazing looking unit but that's going to take me a long time to sort out but this is about Project Deer so that's where I'm at with that I'm pretty happy there's still room for, for uh, advancement and improvement and things like that. Um, I've got a few new attachments um, that I might be able to play around with so I'll keep you updating and every once in a while I'll give you an update on how it goes and testing and things like that but this is where I'm at. Thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one.